News and Record reporting Page High School have to forfeit three football games from the season. Davie County, Northern Guilford, and Dudley games. Page will forfeit those. Again, you can find out more about that at GreensboroSports.com. Also at uh, Greensboro.com, Joe Sierra and the High School Extra section. The headline reading, we just read you the headline, the story reading. The Page Varsity football team is expected to forfeit its first three games of the season because two players were academic and eligible. So academics and eligible players, they had two of those at Page, forfeited the first three games. It'll break down like this. Page will get take a loss against Davy County by forfeit. I got a loss for Page against Northern Guilford by forfeit. Got a loss. Page Duddy versus forfeit. Page will get the win versus Eastern Guilford. Page lost to Reagan. Page goes from four and one to one and four. They forfeit the first three games. They forfeit to Davy County, Northern Guilford, Dudley. Page had two players academically ineligible this season, coming from last year's spring semester. So the Guilford County Schools confirmed that today. Eligibility violations have been reported to the state association, and Page expects to forfeit victories over Davy County. August 17th, Northern Guilford August 24th, and Dudley August 31st. Violations also likely to be a result of fine as well. And again, hope to have more from Joe Sierra later on this at the News and Records site. But again, Eastern Guilford is saying, why could we got a forfeit too? We were right. a forfeit. Yeah, let me make sure the Eastern game wasn't a forfeit. No, it, it counts as a win because I think they reported by that time. Okay, it was reported, and then once the investigation began, yeah. So Dudley yeah, did Dud the win. Yeah, Davy County the first game will win for Davy County for Page by forfeit. Northern Guilford gets a win versus Page by forfeit. Dudley gets a win. We called that game, remember? Right. They get a win over Page by forfeit. And Eastern Guilford, that's going to still be a win for Page. Last night they lost to Reagan. So Page goes from 4 and 1 to 1 and 4 one and in less than 24 hours. And, 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 and that's amazing. Once you. I, 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 it's a lot, it's, a lot, it's to, a lot to take, take in, in. Yeah, and yeah. Um, you know, and Andrew, one of the things that you and I talked about, uh, I remember it was like yesterday that when the news hit on the Dudley scandal, when the news hit on all of the seven, eight schools that was, had violated the JV rule, right? What you stated at that point that hey, if you are AD, you want to make sure that you have everything straight oh, yeah. in the summer before the season starts. And that way, you would cover all of these details. And so it looked like, Andy, that something was lacking during the preparation yeah. of the of the legal of the it paperwork. It had to happen the last spring semester too to kick uh -huh. the fall because they've had, had enough school going so far the first two and a half weeks to, to make it happen now. It happened to happen last spring, and the uh, sad situation is in some ways Rusty Lee stepping out effective October first. He's leaving his AD at Page. He's gone October first. All that kind of coming about at the same time and just kind of makes for kind of a crazy and a lot of drama. <laughs> Who ever thought high school football could be this dramatic? But it yeah. is very dramatic. And and, and the thing that, Andy, that you look at, once you try to do anything that is going to constitute for you to win, it seems to catch up with you. It can happen for a little while, but no shade against Paige or Rusty Lee. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt. They, Rusty Lee have been one of the most years. successful yeah. ADs. He's been always our go-to person. Have always been very respectful and loyal. And I think sometimes things happen. And I don't know, I'm not making excuses for anybody, but when you look at it, you just hate it for the kids, and you sure. just hate it for that program. Yeah, you hate it. You put on, you have the plate, pull that work in, and now you uh, have the wins taken away from you. It's tough, very tough. Uh, absolutely, especially the Dudley, the Dudley victory. Oh, I mean, yeah. all of them, but the Dudley Huge victory, win, yeah. because you beat the top team, and you was number one in all the polls. And and think about the fan base, yeah. page, and think about the sponsors. So it's a lot, and that you have to look at. And I'm and I like when and I first look, and look at the number one spot in the poll. Oh, Page has been number one. They lost last night, their first loss. So now number one, best team in Guilford County right now. It looks like, you look at the record, got to be Southwest Guilford. They're unbeaten. You're, you're right, Southwest Guilford will be that. Coach uh, Eric Rainey, former Page assistant coach, he's got the unbeaten team. We will be the top team. And, and you have to feel for, for Coach Raffles because you, your coach has put in a very a, a vicarious predicament. Oh, you feel like you're doing the right thing. All of a sudden, 
if something sneaks up on you and bites you, now you got to find out why it happened. You also got to stop it. You got to find what happened for the future. You can't let it happen again. Absolutely. And 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 to go back uh, uh, some years with Dudley, Joe Gaudet yeah. steps down. Yeah, he um, became like a ball guy. And, yeah, absolutely. And and you're right. The principal. So it, it's a lot going to. The, the athletic. He just got a brand new principal. Eric Nagley came over from Northwest School for Middle School. This is his first year. And, and now, Andy, how would you like to go into your office? First year principal, and all of, and, and now all of this. Alligator. Your football team was doing well. Everybody was respecting that program. And when you look at it, Andy, you're, you have built. Uh, a, 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 a spot in that box for the, for the first three or four games. It was at Page right. because yeah. Page program was a phenomenal right mistake. Right and high, right and yeah. high, yeah, yeah. And when you look at it, it's just again, you know, I want to say Rusty Lee again, I, and I'm going to reach out to Rusty. He's a personal friend of ours as well, uh, a gentleman that I have utmost respect for. And when you look at what have transpired. Uh, here on Greensboro Sports from Andy Durham. Andy, when, when, when you look at it, I don't think since I've been a part of, the, of, of Greensboro Sports for 15 years, this is the second time that we've had these types of issues to come out and get for county. Yeah. You brought up a good point going back to when Dudley got in trouble a few years back and had to forfeit all those games. Now, so that came at the end of the year, right around playoff time. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it certainly did. And, you know, and it was so many schools involved, and it came so many schools because of the JV rule. And it kept getting worse and worse. It, it, it really did. Covering more and more details yes. behind and, the scenes. Yeah. And Coach Davis had a uh, two game suspension. You know, against Ragsdale, he had the city. He couldn't, even, he couldn't come to the game. Right. You know, he couldn't even come to the yeah. game. Yeah. And so he had Mc, Coach McMillan, the strength coach, was the head coach. That's a man. A lot of people, they say they'd like to see come back to town. They miss him. Yeah. And, and he was very viable to that Dudley program, and he meant a lot. And Andy, when you look at again, the when you look at it, it's, it's just a hurtful thing when you look at the violation because, as you said, kids are affected, parents are affected. Dutton Page High School now, how does? How is it going to play out, Andy, from this point on? Right. You know? But if I'm a player, the players, they need to rally together, rally each other. we got the conference schedule left. We win that conference, go and beat there. That's probably what their, their goal always is. Go and beat there, then they've got to forge on for the playoffs. So we'll try to go to, to the playoffs unbeaten. They can still make the playoffs because the conference hasn't started yet, so they can still get in. But they're rallying. Got, it's got to be we got to band together, bond together now. we got to forge on, and we got to hit harder than ever for players. Because people look at us now, they're going to look, 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 look down on us right now. Right. They got to go crazy and really band together and play hard. And, and Andy, let me ask you one question real quickly. Now, when we look at the Dudley scandal, um, back they were penalized beyond the playoffs. So is face any penalty? They're going to be penalized beyond anything of this. I think this, the penalty, this, this is it. Just the first three games forfeited. That's it. And, and that's it. And anything yeah. else beyond that? I don't think that. that'll affect for the playoffs. No, I don't think so. The really recent killed Dudley because all the wins were wiped off, so they couldn't even make the playoffs. Right. Then. And right. plus they were told they couldn't right. get the punts anyway. But once those wins are wiped away, you're not eligible for playoffs. The pay situation, I can go in. The, I can go in at one and four, and I can still qualify for the playoffs if I sweep the rest of my games, or if I win the conference outright, I'm still in. Yeah, a absolutely. And, and I so, like a madman after that too. I say I'm going to show those people, you know, it wasn't me, it wasn't my problem. Uh huh. So I and and, and again, you know, with um. With this all fresh and new, yeah. and I'm hoping I'm like you that this may be exactly what where they're gonna put a period and stop. But you and I know in a world that we live in with, with the North Carolina High School Athletic oh, Association, yeah. Yeah. you never know. You, yeah, they you, got a lot of people on staff that a lot of those people need some extra uh, responsibilities. They might start looking for more details. Yeah, checking absolutely. other people out. Checking other people out. And, and somebody from Page might say, hey, you need to check out such and such. And they check them out. Well, wait a minute. I found this too. And, and that's what happened with the Douglas right, scandal. Happened, Remember yeah. that, uh, they found that Friday, Friday night? They found yes, Andrews, they, did. they found yeah. a, three or four different schools after yes. that. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's in, in the uh, business world political world whistleblowers and yeah, you know man. people yeah. began yeah. to say well this kid and now if I'm an athletic director I know the storm is coming I'm gonna be in my office tonight and I'm gonna go through every piece of paperwork like a fine tooth comb 
to make sure that my program is yeah, okay. Yeah, the way the deal works, a lot of feel like you already have done that up to this point. They may say, well, I've done my part already, but then you may go back. There may be some place you, sometimes, inadvertently, you may miss something, and that can still get you if uh, if you get you. you got to find out how it happened. Did they turn themselves in? Did somebody look at it and say, we need to take a look at these guys? You know, how, how did it come you're, about? Right, you, know? you never know. And Andy, I've always said, and I'm a firm believer, even when I was at Smith High School, I've always believed every AD need to have the booster club, four or five members of the booster club helping them with paperwork. I, I really believe get to some volunteers and let's go over the eligibility because one person, one person well, I is this. I'm not blowing that theory away. My thought is this. If I can get maybe three or four of the staff members who are on staff at the school right, absolutely. who are qualified, yeah, I agree, sometimes I, agree. I may not want a booster club member looking at my, my details there. Right. The booster club members sometimes have the program's best stake at heart and they may see something. Well, I don't know if that's right or wrong. Let's call that right. But if you've got a, a qualified staff member looking at those I things agree. over I and they know their job's on the line, then they're going to be very qualified and very responsive when they study those matters. Yeah, I, I agree. I, yeah. I certainly agree. Like you, you know, it's the right idea. Get yeah. other people checking things out behind you. Yeah, absolutely. Double check. Yeah, that's yeah that's Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers said it himself. Just count double, double check. check. <laughs> double check. <laughs> And, and, and Andy, again, when you look at this page, uh, allegations, when you look at Rusty Lee, th this is where I want to focus on on this part of the comment. Rusty Lee, heart and soul of Page Pirate Sports. Rusty reached out to sponsors, the community, media, anything dealing with Page. Rusty Lee has spent countless hours. On it, on it, yeah. And 27 it's years. It's kind of like what you're saying. It's not like what Dale Holder said, the article I read about Rusty stepping out. Well, Dale Holder was part of a good point. He said, a lot of times Rusty's not out front blowing the, blowing the horn. Rusty's behind, behind the scenes working back there. You don't know he's there. He's getting the job done. He delegates responsibility, gets people going and getting it done. And he's he's leading, but again, not trying to be in the forefront and get recognition. If, 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 but now he's getting recognition for all the wrong reasons. It's kind of rough right now. Yeah, absolutely. And a rough and way to go out, man. It, it really is. Oh, man. That's what a dime when I got to know some Don Moore, that's the first thing I said. 27 years, your legacy. You want to leave from a program with a banner saying, well done. You don't yeah. want to leave with a banner saying you're done. You know, I missed his allegations. You want this to be a good going away party. You, yes, yes. And now, now there's not going to be, <laughs> you want to get the cake, ice cream, the candles. Man, you, now you feel like you got the cake in your face. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. And, uh, and that's with the candles on it burning right when it hits your face. Yeah, and and, 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 and Andy, when you look at any time you step down in the midst of allegation, first thing people say, you're guilty, and yeah. maybe, maybe yeah, Rusty. Well, already something came out yesterday on the website last night. We put up about Rusty stepping down before he just came out about the forfeitures today. Somebody made a statement last night said, hey, that's just the good tip of the iceberg. That's just a pink slip there. More details are coming. So somebody already made us feel like something's going to happen later. And then something happened. You go, well, then everybody says, maybe that guy was right. Yeah, and speculation it, hits. It, it, absolutely, and when you when, when when you look at it, Andy, however you uh, and the word always you slicing and dicing. Yeah, you can't take away from we can't discount or take away. Does not negate what Russell Lee done to this program. That's right, and it, 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 when you look at the Page Pirates this season. How well they were doing oh, now. Yeah. Who gonna now? How many people in their mind say, "Well, listen, let's look at it. Nothing you can do about it." But last season, have this been going on with the page camp? You know, people just start like with Dudley. Yeah. How many years has it been going on? You know, and it was just. That, yeah. I what think it's just happened. Look at our man right here, right now, Northern Guilford. They used to go out of titles. People say, "Oh, Northern was under the same microscope for Absolutely. years themselves." They you're were, right. Coach Foster, they were in that microscope. You, you're right. And they never found anything they did wrong. And you're they right. didn't put anything on them, but they had a lot of titles. But they were under the same microscope back in the day when Coach you, Roscoe was there. And, and year after year after year. Every year it came up. Absolutely, yeah. because, and as you said, you and I know with the Northwest and the Northeast, because a lot of those kids are supposed right. to be at that school. Right. Right. And that was a big issue. But as you said, nothing came. And take Southeast, the baseball player now, he's in the pros. Right. Had that issue with Dudley. He's the artist. He's the artist. Yeah. You know, so yeah. these things always want to come up. And Andy, 
as you stated, stay in your your words, stay in your stinking neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> do the stinking things that you need yeah, to do. Yeah, and take care, take care of your own home take front. Care, absolutely. Yeah, your and these allegations and things will not come. If not, the question will come up and say, where were you on the night of the fifth? Right. <laughs> I'm the fifth. I'm the fifth. I'm the fifth. Man, help me. Yeah, like Rodney Dangerfield, no respect, you know. And wow. and again, the Page Pirates have forfeited three football games for the season: David County, Northern Gifford, and Dudley. And and Eastern Gifford saying, "What about me? What about I, me? I'd be unbeat. Give me a win. Give yeah. me another win." Eastern Gifford saying, "I want one more." A absolutely, because they'd give Eastern that undefeated <laughs> That's season. That's what they would say. And they they go to Eastern. We said, "I saw one of their players behind the bus before the game." He had the wrong, had the wrong textbook. Yeah. He used the wrong book. That was not the, that was a comic book. That was not a textbook. He was reading. And 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 you know, Joe Cut, Coach Glass is certainly going to oh, going yeah. to have a conversation to dig deeper. And uh, you know, and so what? And Andy. You've been in this business for a long time. You've the face of Greensboro sports, literally. And once these allegations like this come out with coaches, you put out yesterday a coach at Pass Apple, see yeah. 69 years old. And then yeah, that's Coach Bobby Chapel, Northeast Gilford, yeah. Happy, then, happy Chapel, yeah. And then today comes out something else. Something else. That's what I told uh, Don, I told Coach Westberg before the show. A lot of drama in Guilford County. A lot of drama. Something happened every day. Yeah, absolutely. So Florence is not the only hurricane. No, I mean, it's you always know, a we, storm brewing around yeah, here. No doubt yeah, about yeah, absolutely. And remember the Texas tornado carrying Von Eric? Yeah. <laughs> mm. And, 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 and Andy, when you look at the Page Pirate program, you was very close to uh, the broadcasting. Page has a great team. Yeah. Page has a team that people thought this would be the year. Oh, man, yeah. For a Gifford County team, you stated to me, Page had the best chance to At go. At one time, to, they had a chance to go the furthest, it right. seemed like, yeah. And, and now, now Southwest Gilford's out balloon. front. Dudley, you know, lost last night. They've lost two games. They got Southwest their next game. Next game, Dudley could be 3-3 three and three if they pull it Southwest at home. So this could become a very interesting year. Right. Southwest may be saying, hey, we like it at the top. We want to stay there. And, yeah. and, and when you look at Dudley get this win back from Paige, yeah, that helps. That helps a lot. You, that's a good point. So yeah. now you can. So three and three right now. They're going to be like. Uh, they're four and one. I thought, would that make it's Dudley, amazing? Four and you one. Can, you go from three. How you, that's a huge difference. Three and two and four and one. A huge difference. A big difference. The only loss they got is last night's loss. Last if night they'd have found out that win before last night's game, they might have played harder. They tried not to lose that. They tried not to lose that. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. It's the numbers, man. That's but you go from three and two to four and one. That's a big difference. That's, that's a big difference. Big job. And, and, and you have to look at next week's poll is going to be very interesting. Very interesting, yeah, too. Yeah. And it gives you a, a different take, a look at what things and how things are going to shape up. So, in the back, and again, and it is, when you when you look at these violations, fines can come out of this. Yeah. It, it's, it's just a lot. And if you're a kid, as you said, think about um, if you're a Cody King and you just put your hand out yeah. to get that big touchdown of your career, the biggest win of, of against Eastern. You beat Dudley, you beat all the top teams, but now you can't beat the One of the bad things about it, you gotta go home and gotta stew all night about this because there's no school tomorrow. So you can't go to school tomorrow and share your thoughts. You gotta share them somewhere else because you're out of school. Yeah, absolutely. And and the thing that, that you look at, when, when this came out, Andy, I know you was un, you was baffled yeah. because just hearing it from from Don Moore. As soon as I stepped in, have, did you hear the news? And in 30 seconds, I'm like, oh my goodness! It, it's it, uh, you'd have never. I couldn't have called you last night and said, guess what, Andy? Tomorrow we're gonna have a scandal. Let's yeah. get ready for a scandal. I know. And if you called me a one and you were to say it's this coming in, I was like, man, that's hard to believe. How'd you come up with that idea? Right. Man, that would be. If you told me that's gonna be the next scandal coming out, the next big story, I'd say, boy, how'd you? Think that one up. That's pretty great. You'd be wondering what's in the communion ju yeah, juice, yeah, you know. Really, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and 
And, you, and, and another thing that we haven't even talked about, when you look at the page boosters, they have that great boosters. Oh, yeah, and, no doubt about it. And a, and, and a great support, a, a big support, support for the community. Staff, yeah. And now... The thing about it, my question next is, who's going to be the next AD? I'm thinking today, maybe Paige might come up with a, uh, a different uh, community of AD, maybe a group, a committee, a committee of AD the rest of the year. I, if I'm Paige, maybe I don't name a new AD the rest of the season. I may take, they've got some group over there now, some assistant ADs. I may go by a committee the rest of the year instead of naming a new AD. New AD coming in, if they have to name a new AD, they may have to name B.J. Barnes to come in and take over. Absolutely. Not, 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 that's just kind of being facetious, but you see what I'm saying. They have to bring in a whole new sheriff in town, so right. to speak. And Andy, to, I, to make a good impression. Right. And I have one name that uh, has been a part of the Page organization now for a couple of years. Uh, Ex-NFL player has great ties, and he's a very positive influence of Greensboro, Ethan Albright. You right. Know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I, Ethan. I, I, that wouldn't be a bad that idea. That wouldn't be at a all. bad idea. At all. I mean, I didn't know um, what he was going to say, but that's a good call. Yeah. 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 And make he, him the AD. And, and, and he would do that. And yeah. Absolutely. And you, you, you have to have someone because he's been is, around uh, discipline, professional sports. Absolutely. If he'd like to do that, that wouldn't be a bad. That's a great idea. And, and you bring someone yeah. like Ethan in to finish out this year. Yeah. And then what you do is. Is you could then go out, but Ethan to be an emergency to fill in for you right now because yeah. he's there, he's doing the field sure already. Got the, he sure got the background in his family, his dad, his yes. judge, his yes. brother's a judge, yes. they got yes. the legal yes. background. Yeah. And you would bring someone in that's not controversial. Right. You'll bring someone in his best that knows the heart. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So that would be if Andy Durham, if, if Dennis White and Andy idea. Durham could have to write in a candidate, yeah. I couldn't think of a better person than Ethan Albright because because he's there with Paige and his kids are at Paige, so he's doing a lot with Paige Pine. Well, here's your fast track trivia to close out yeah. tonight. Have you some good questions last week? All right. This week for you, who's the sheriff of Guilford County? DJ Barnes. Yeah, we just talked about him. How about uh, the principal at Northern Guilford? Principal at Northern Guilford, uh, oh, that I know, uh, right on the tip of my tongue. Oh. I, I, but Janice McKenzie. McKenzie, okay. Miss McKenzie. How about the AD at Northern? <laughs> Your buddy. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Brian Thomas all day long. How about the girls' basketball coach? The girls' basketball coach at um, is uh, uh, Furlough. Yeah, good job. I thought they stuck you there. <laughs> Who were the top three seniors off last year's state championship team? They're now graduated and in college. The top three seniors on Northern Gilford girls basketball team last year. All right. We have to go uh, Mercedes Wampler. There you go. Um, uh, Kanane. Right. And Furlow, Sammy Furlow. Was it Furlow? She graduated the year before. Oh, the year before. Okay, yeah. let me go back. One other girl. One other girl. Let's go back. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, man. What's her name? Wampler, Kanane, and. Um, like going to the garden. You're going to eat what in the garden? Big head of lettuce. Big uh, head of. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, cabbage. Roman cabbage. There Roman cabbage. Go. There you go. <laughs> How about the baseball coach at Northern? You know him? That might be tough. That's a tough. Landon Kimry. Landon Kimry. Yeah. Wow. Carolina Panthers. One area they had to improve upon this week to get better. Where did they have to improve? What area of their team they had to improve on? I think that they have to improve on the. Um, Receive our, I, I, I would say receivers from Greg. Well, we Olson talked about last out, week. Out. Yep, sir. We talked about the same thing last week. He got injured. He's out for a long time. A lo wow. Did you hear how long he's going to be out? Though? As long as, as, he'll be back as soon as he can come back. No right. surgery. He's going to try to come back. Maybe they'll, they'll review it every month, a month at a time. Final one for you. Weather names. All these guys are the same professional sport. They got the weather names. Shane Hurricane Helms, Tim Storm, Lance Storm, James Storm. What sport? Shane Hurricane Helms. He's a good friend of Jeff and Matt Hardy. Those are wrestlers. Got to be go. wrestlers. Uh, got to be the wrestlers. Out there, yeah. I like that, man. That's your trivia, man. You got yeah. me on that one. I think I missed two, Andy Durham. So I'm going with your trivia, man. I like. I love your, you get me to think it with your trivia. Fast track trivia. Yes, sir. Is Wake Forest win tonight? Are they winning North Carolina? Wake Forest, boy, look at that. They're up 24-21, looks like. Wake Forest leading by three points. Big ball game at uh, BB&T Field on Winston. A big ball game, big ball Wake game. Wake Forest over Boston College 24-21. And we ask everybody in to be safe amongst this um, Hurricane Florence already causing a lot of bad conditions down at Wilmington. I've seen it and I'm 
last night football on Wednesday night, football or Bible study, football and Bible study, or you know, it, it was a, a toss up for a lot of people. It's been a busy week. And, uh, it, it happened. A lot of people was out supporting the game that I was at last night at Eastern Gifford for, for Greensboro Sports. And um, it was a, a totally different atmosphere on the Wednesday night. This, like you say, everybody be safe with the storm. Also, thanks to Adam, came out for the interview. Adam from the kitchen. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Billy Curry, who runs the show here at Kickback Jacks on Battleground. Thank you, Don Moore. And check out Joe Sierra at the news and record website, Greensboro Sports, or Greensboro.com for them. Us, GreensboroSports.com. Check out Joe's upcoming award on page and the retirement of Rusty Lee. We'll see everybody again, hopefully, next Thursday at Kickback Jacks. And they're always good, uh, outstanding show. And again, I just hope that we don't have any more of these come next week for anybody else. And just hope that this be it and let the game be the game and the kids just continue to be great athletes. We, we thank Northern Guilford kids that came out tonight and Coach Westbrook. Thanks for bringing those guys out. We talked to Tyler Flippin. We talked to Jake Leonard. We also talked to Christian Bass. Next week, hoping to get Southeast Guilford in. Right now, we're going for the team that gets the big win every week. Uh, Northwest got the big win. Earlier against Southeast and Northern beat Northwest. Last night, Southeast beat Dudley. Trying to get Southeast in next week. We'll see you then. Take care. Thanks.